Hello and welcome to this uh, first video on learning mobile repairing. Mobile phone is a very common uh, equipment that uh, almost uh, everyone has these days. Now this mobile uh, can get into trouble, can uh, become faulty and so we need to understand how we can repair these mobile phones. In this video, we will learn about what are the tools that are used in mobile repairing and how we can use them to ensure that we are able to repair mobile phones. First of all, when we are talking about mobile repairing tools, we must understand aligners. Aligners are basically very small screwdrivers that are used to open the screws in a mobile phone. Typically, most mobile phones, when they have a problem, you will need to open them and only then you can check what the problem is. And that's where all these aligners are used. These have very different heads. You know, each of them is a very unique head. Some of them have a flat head. Some of them have the head of a star. Some of them have uh, six heads. So it could be very different heads. As you can see, it could be very different heads for very different types of screws. Now, for example, this one is a flat screwdriver. This one is a six-way screwdriver and this is a four-way screwdriver. So whenever we need to open up mobile phones, the first tool that we need are these aligners. Once we use these aligners and open the mobile phone, we will be able to find out what problems exist in the mobile phone and solve those problems. Now you may want to ask a question on how we can identify where we need to use which aligner. Now for this, you will need to check the screw heads that are placed on your mobile phone. Now the screw heads uh, typically have one of these formations on top. It could be a flat formation, it could be a four-way four, four -way formation, it could be a six-way formation. Looking at that, you will know which screwdriver or aligner needs to be used exactly as per the requirement. So you need to match this with the screw head and accordingly use the right aligner. Now, in case uh, if the aligner and the, the screw head do not match or if they are of very different one, for example, you're trying to use a four-way screw on a six-way, uh, a four-way aligner on a six-way screw, it can spoil the screw head and eventually you may not be able to open it at all. Hence, you need to be careful about what is the screw head what matches or which aligner matches to the screw head and use the right aligner to open the screws. Now, moving on. The next important tool that is used in mobile repairing is something called as a digital multimeter. Now, we have a separate video on digital multimeter where you will learn a lot about how this digital multimeter works and how we need to use them when you are using it in the area of mobile repairing. So we will try and understand that later. Moving on, the third important tool that you need to use in mobile repairing are tweezers. Now these are different types of tweezers that are used in mobile repairing. Now, these tweezers are used to actually hold components while you are working on mobile repairing. For example, when you need to place components on a PCB, you will need to hold these components carefully while you are placing them. You may also be using another equipment called SMD or a hot air gun, which blows hot air on it. So it is impossible to hold the components using bare hands. It is dangerous as well and that's why you need to use these tweezers to hold these smaller components. There are different types of tweezers depending on the size of the component. You need to ensure that you use the right sized tweezer to hold the right sized components. Now, as you can see, these are the three 
important tools, aligner, multimeter, and tweezer. Moving on, what you see now is actually called a thinner. Thinner is essentially used to clean the dust or clean anything that is stuck on your PCB. So if you, if there is dust particle on the PCB, or if you need to clean up something or something is stuck in the PCB, you use the thinner, take the thinner, apply it on the PCB. As you can see now, you can apply it on the PCB, take the brush and try and clean it off using the brush. So this way the dirt stuck on it will be cleared and you will be able to see the components clearly and work with them without a problem. And that is how the thinner needs to be used. Now, as we are doing this, you might probably be wondering, what is this PCB that we are holding in our hand? Now, this is called a printed circuit board of a mobile phone. Now, the printed circuit board is where all the components of a mobile phone are placed, including the chips, the camera, the speakers, everything is placed on a PCB. And this PCB is, uh, in a way, the heart of a mobile phone. So you need to understand uh, that the PCB is a very, very important element in a mobile phone. We will understand the PCB a little more in further videos. Now, while you're working with the PCB and while you're repairing mobile phones, you cannot hold it in hand and work with it because our hands are not stable and it's possible that we may spoil the PCB or a spoiler component. So when you need to work on a PCB, you typically use something called as a PCB stand. So what you see here is called a PCB stand, which has a small spring-like feature, which actually holds the printed circuit board in it. It holds it tight so that you can actually work on the PCB or place components on it very easily. And as you can see, you can push it, Brad, hold it steady and place the PCB inside. And once you set it inside, you will be able to work on the PCB. So the PCB stand is an important tool that you will need to have while you are doing your mobile repairing work. So the PCB stand is also um, very easy to operate, uh, you know, to place or keep any boards inside. Now you can see the spring setting there. So on one end, there are fixed jacks. On the other end, you have something that can be moved. So when you need to move it out, so hold it from the bottom, push the spring behind, and that pushes the PCB out. You can take it out and leave it. So as you can see, it's a very simple mechanism which has a spring in it. Basically, the spring uh, creates tension and ensures that the board does not move from its place. It's stable and it's easy for you to work on it or place components on it. Now, so far, we have seen aligners, um, we've seen tweezers, PCB stand, and thinner as well. Let's also try and understand another important tool that is used in mobile repairing. This is called a soldering iron. Now, soldering is a process where you actually combine or join two separate parts, two wires, or any of that stuff, or even to place a component on the PCB. So that is where you use the tool called a soldering iron. Now you can see two types of soldering irons. The first one is a heavier soldering iron. This is slightly thicker on the ends. Now this is used for places where you need to do heavy soldering or a thicker soldering is required. That is where you use this soldering iron. Wherever there is a, a minor or very small micro component that needs to be soldered, we use the micro soldering iron. Now, as you can see, the micro soldering iron, the tip is far more thinner and sharper compared to the other soldering iron. Using this, you will be able to solder minor or micro components on a mobile phone. Now, irons or the all these micro soldering irons or soldering irons come with a stand alongside to ensure that you place the soldering iron exactly into the stand. You don't want to leave these soldering irons here and there because they are very hot and can cause physical harm as well as can damage your components if they come in contact with them. Now, apart from these, there is another important tool that you will need while doing mobile repairing. 
Now, whenever you're working on PCB, the components are so small that you may not be able to see them with bare eyes. And that's where you'll need to use this magnifying lens. Now, as you can see, when we place the PCB behind it, you will be able to clearly see each of the components in it. You can read what is written there. And this will ensure that you're able to do your job very clearly. You will not end up making a mistake or connecting some component in the wrong place. And that is where this uh, magnifying lens is a very, very important tool. And you may need to use this tool in mobile repairing. Now, apart from these ions, you will also need to use a few paste. Now, there are two different types of paste. The first paste is the one that is used on PCBs to place ICs, integrated uh, chips. So this is the paste that is used to place ICs. So this is a special type of uh, uh, paste which is primarily to place ICs on the uh, PCBs. Now there are other types of paste also which are used. Typically those paste are used for uh, placing connectors or smaller components in it. So for ICs, we use a special paste. Now, apart from all of these, there's another important tool that we use. This is called a BGA kit. Now, this is what we use to make ICs on PCBs. You will be able to see a lot of designs here. Now, each of these designs uh, will be for very different ICs. So each IC will, will probably have a very different uh, uh, design at the back. And you use this designing tool to ensure that you're able to place and solder the ICs appropriately. Now we have a separate video on how to do uh, the reballing. So this entire process is called reballing. And this is a reballing paste that we use while doing the entire process. We will definitely learn more about reballing process a little later in a separate video. Now, finally, we come to another important tool that we would use, you would use in mobile repairing. This is called a battery booster. Now, battery booster is mainly used when you need to boost a dead battery. Many a times when we get mobile phones for repairing, there might be no battery left out in it and you may need to uh, have a little bit of charge. You may need a little bit of charge in the battery to be able to test it out. So at that uh, moment, we use the battery booster to ensure that we are able to jumpstart the battery a little. It's similar to what you do in four-wheelers when you have to jumpstart your uh, car batteries when it's uh, uh, dead or very low. So that is where we use this booster. We typically switch it on. And once you switch it on, you will have the power input coming in. Uh, you can change the voltage output that is uh, given by the battery booster. Depending on the device or depending on the mobile battery, you can choose the voltage, adjust the voltage and uh, boost the battery. Now this booster gives a standard output of 500 milliampere uh, and it's a fixed output that this booster gives that can be used to temporarily boost the battery of a mobile phone. The next one that you see is also a battery booster. But however, this one is a digital booster. Now the digital booster is also used exactly for the same thing, but it's a little more sophisticated. You would see a plus and minus point there. So you can place the black probe and the red probe here, which basically can be connected to a mobile battery and boost the battery. You can set the voltage here, similar to what we did in the other battery booster. Additionally, you will also be able to set the, the current, which is the ampere that flows out of the battery booster. So using this, you will be able to boost the battery of any mobile phone. And on top is where you will be able to see uh, what is the reading there. So this is a little more sophisticated than the traditional battery booster and uh, is a very effective tool when might be required for battery boosting. So this is where you will see the display and using the display, you can adjust the voltage, ampere, and try and boost the battery of a mobile phone. 
So in this video, we learnt about a lot of tools that are used in mobile repairing. Basically, the first one is your aligner, followed by the tweezers. Uh, we will understand multimeter a little later. We also understood how soldering iron, battery booster and the BGA kit are used. Keep learning. Thank you very much.